I was a big Tinder guy a few years ago. Everywhere I went, I would update my location and then update, you know, my body count. Then I quit doing Tinder and stuck with Instagram. I know they're completely different and IG has a bunch of fake accounts. So I saw this girl commenting on all of my friends' pictures. Then she commented on mine. I also saw my friends replying, so I figured she was a real person because I looked on her page and she had way more followers than people she was following. So I DM'd her. I definitely thought she wasn't going to reply, but she did within an hour. We talked for maybe two or three weeks and we made it official. She was pretty, had a degree, and a good job, as she said. I felt she was out of my league and too perfect. Every day she posted new photos, and I told my friends about her and they seemed pretty jealous, except for my friend Ryan. He said I was stupid because I never spoke with her, and I only messaged her. She invited me over because she said she can cook. Ryan told me to don't go. The rest of my friends said, don't have any kids, and they would laugh. So I went over there, but not without Ryan calling me a clown first. The GPS says she lived about an hour away. When I first started to talk to her, she told me that she lived in a nice neighborhood. But when I got there, there were people everywhere and the neighborhood was not that nice. When I stopped at the stop sign at the corner, people walked up to my windows and asked me what do I need. But I pulled off really fast and got to the house. It was a duplex, so I messaged her and she said they come up the stairs. It was about nine at night and people were everywhere just standing around. I knocked on the door and I was definitely excited. The door opened and to my surprise, it was a bald headed white guy with a patchy beard, tattoos everywhere, including his head with a tank top on. I asked was Lisa home and he said, yeah, come in. When I walked in, I was immediately hit with a musty smell mixed with cheese he told me to sit down and he sat down across from me on the couch he said she'll be out soon he asked me did i want something to drink and i said yeah sure when i got up i texted her can she come out please she immediately said yes the man came back in with two cups of juice one for him and one for myself then I noticed that he put a phone down on the table next to him. So I acted like I sneezed and got some on my arm. Then I asked for a tissue. He went to get some tissue and he left his phone like I thought he would. I texted her back and to my horror, the phone rang. I looked on the caller ID and it was my name. I heard him coming back. He came back and we sat there for about a minute. And then the phone rang again because he never checked the message that I sent. He looked at the phone. I looked at the phone. Then we looked at each other. I postured up and he calmly said, I guess you caught me. Then out of nowhere, he lunged toward me, attempting to grab me. I punched him and he fell on his face. I ran out of there so fast and I never looked back. Yeah. I called the cops, and when they got there, the man was still knocked out. After that, I never went on dates with people that I met online again.